Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker playthrough. We are in the Tower of the Gods. We learned a new song for our Wind Waker, the Command Melody, and we're going to need to use that to uh, basically get through more of this dungeon. But uh, there'll still be some difficulties, though. For one, these guys are still an issue. You can still kill them, but they're still an issue. <laughs> um, Let's see. Which way do I want to go? Seems like there's... Seems like that's blocked off. But... Hold on. I think what we want to do... I think we want to use this... To swing across, get over here. And I can get the hell out of here. Really yeah, get the hell out of here. <laughs> See what's in here first. Looks like we do have another one of those guys, so that's good. Um, we have another, of course. Wouldn't be Wind Waker without those uh, platforms there. Come on! Come on! <laughs> so now we can use that. Uh, command melody of ours effectively because if we stand on this platform here we'll create a nice little rainbow bridge that our uh, little friend can cross but in order to do that we need the command and we will become the statue guy so now we need to make it across here Turn. And unfortunately, Link doesn't get a nice little uh, bridge. He has to go back the way he came, but that'll have to do, I guess. I don't think I actually need to lift him to take him in here, but I do it just to be sure. Okay, so next, uh, we need to call. I guess I could just lift them up and uh, give them a nice old drop on here. Because that'll open up that door. And if we don't call him, he'll stay there. So. What we're going to do is go over here and see what we can find. Because there's no way our statue friend can cross that gap. So we're going to see what's in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Dark Nuts. Now, for fighting Dark Nuts, Perry is your best friend. Perry will get these guys down very quickly. It's almost it's almost kind of a shame how easy these guys are. <laughs> but yeah, Perry and counterattacking is your best friend with those guys. I think you can also, if you go behind them, I, and you hit that, like, you can see, like, some red little uh, pieces of rope behind their armor that's kind of keeping the armor together. If you slice that, that can also get rid of their armor pretty quickly. But we'll be fighting lots of uh, Dark Nuts in this game, so keep an eye out for them. They can be kind of fun to fight, just because of the command, or the um, counter-attack system in this game. Uh, but here we go, we got the Hero's Bow. Set it to Y, Z, or X, and use it with the buttons you set it to. Hold the button to knock an arrow and release the button to shoot. You can carry up to 30 arrows. But we can carry 99 bombs, so that's not too exciting, I guess. Uh, so now we can pretty much retire the boomerang. We'll still need it for certain parts of the game, but... 
As far as just like a normal shooting projectile, the bow is obviously the winner. The one downside is, of course, uh, you have ammunition with it, so you're not always going to have uh, ammo, I guess. You also have to get used to how the bow fires. As you can see, it does have kind of a small bit of a curve, I guess, to it. Fine, I'll ignore it. Maybe I won't. Is there a reason I can't grab these, or...? No, I can. I just wasn't doing it correctly. You know, this is theoretically, like, not smart at all. Having a fire enemy, like, in your way while you're trying to grapple. Why can I not hit this guy? <laughs> there we go. My god, that took way too long. <laughs> I'm ashamed at how many arrows I wasted on that. Oh well. It happens. So with the bow, um, we can actually go back to the beginning section uh, to grab that one uh, treasure chest, which I believe is a treasure chart, but... I think we'll just get that when we're done with the temple. Because I feel like that'll be a faster passageway. Although I think once we finish this dungeon we get like carried away by story stuff, but after that story stuff uh, we can pretty easily uh, get back to uh, the dungeon regardless. I love how there was actually magic in there, and we haven't had to use our magic whatsoever. I'm trying to see if there's maybe some, like, arrows we can pick up. There we go. That works. Ten arrows, I'll take it. Uh, but I am going to go back in here, since we are, like, right here, and there is another... Oh! Here's a new enemy. Say hello to the whiz robes of this game. Honestly, I think the whiz robes are pretty cool in this game. They kind of have like a very mystic, but still kind of crazy aspect of them. Which is kind of neat. They're also like birds for some reason. I don't know, I think it's interesting. Okay, so we can get up here now. I might be able to float with the Deku Leaf out of this room when I'm done. And we have, uh, Armos Knights, kind of, uh... Basically the way these guys work is... Oh, they're pretty big and they're pretty heavy. Wait for them to open their mouths, chuck a bomb in, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So I believe in here is going to be one of our treasure charts, or maybe not. Nope, Joy Pendant. Was it worth coming all the way here for a Joy Pendant? Probably not, but here we are, anyway. Sometimes, just gotta roll with the punches, I guess. See if we can actually use the Deku Leaf to get out of here. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, why not? I mean, it gives it to you for a reason. May as well utilize it if you can. Magic? No. Just stinky single grain rupees. like I might just not
not worry about that. Uh, so yeah, for this room, um... Obviously we have these weights. There's also another room over here. Let's, let's go to this room first. Let's see what we got, because we needed a key for the other room anyway. I kind of remember this room being kind of irritating. The fact that these enemies are here doesn't help. gonna set me on fire, then I'm gonna freaking hurt you. I think that's pretty fair. Um, I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I jumped. I was like, that platform's gonna move and I'm gonna be just dead. But at least that didn't disappear. And at least the other fire guy is still gone. I'm actually kind of surprised I made that. I think I want to go... Yeah, I think I want to get to that platform. Yeah, there's this platform. I think this is going to be a pretty small prize, but... If I can get the chest open, my god. Okay, there's the small key. Which is a small prize. It's probably more important than I let on, though. Okay, so... So I'm going to need to get to... Okay, let me go back up here, then. And then I'll need to jump on this platform when it comes back. After. Hit that, so I can activate that. And that's, I think, one of the treasure charts. Unless there's another dumb joy pendant. <laughs> I promise, the joy pendants are important. Oh my god! <laughs> they are important, it's just... I don't need them now. <laughs> yeah, we got the small key, I guess that's something. Okay, so here we are. Back in this room. I need to actually solve this room. I get eaten by bats. Please, bats, don't knock me off. Thank you. Well, they knocked me off. I suppose that could have been a lot worse, though. Okay, so what we want to do here is obviously um, treat these as scales. Uh, that, that shouldn't affect the weight here, so that's good. I'm gonna see if I can also do this. Okay, that didn't work. You know what, let's do this first. another room. Okay, I think this is where one of our treasure charts are going to end up being. And we have a very interesting way of activating this treasure chart. We 
we actually need to do is play the uh, Wind's Requiem. It's kind of the uh, Zelda's lullaby of this game, I guess you could say. <laughs> Although even more important because he changed the wind with it, but you use it a lot for like little things like this. And yeah, now these guys are active. Should have realized that they were waiting for the right time to attack. Yeah, this is definitely a treasure chart. <laughs> Hell yeah, we will. <laughs> See, let's go to the green. Yeah, it seemed like it gave more health than anything, so yeah, the color does not matter. Which honestly I think is a big shame. I think that could have been, you know, something, but alas it is not. Oh, and that's kind of lame. We have to do the freaking scale thing again. Eh, I suppose it's not all bad. Okay. Whee! And yeah, I think you do want to throw two on it, because if you throw only one, stepping on this will kind of make it equal again, because I, I guess Link weighs as much as an Armos Knight, which I feel like that's kind of incorrect, but oh well. What does this do? I thought you could, like, maybe check that or something. Which you may be able to. Hold on. <clears throat> I think we're gonna... Hover on over here. Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh, Link. So here's the thing about this guy. Um... He can go through the lasers, but Link can't. So we need to get him over there. Um, then command him to jump on that switch, so that will stop the lasers and allow Link to get by. That's not all! We have to make our way through this scale room again, which is... Oh, and there's a whiz robe. How beautiful. Now we need to throw, I think, pretty much all of these on the other one. Well. Damn it. I feel like you can do this. Yeah, so you can. Just takes a little bit of aiming. I think a third one will help regulate things even more. There are three though, right? Yep, there's three. Okay. Well, that was just mean. And I don't think that's a case where the thing's too high. I think I can make that. I think the angle was just not great. Which, that happens sometimes. Use this a little bit to see if I can. There we go. No! Oh, really? He didn't make it either? That's irritating. Now I have to do this room again. 
Okay, you know what? I don't know why I keep trying to throw him, but I think if I just jump over here... Okay, yeah, I just had to jump over there. <laughs> I thought you had to actually throw him over, but I guess not. Well, we got it. That's all three statues. We still need to get the boss key. <laughs> we'll probably have something like that in the next few rooms. I guess I could go back and get that treasure chart, but... Eh. We'll keep moving. Beamos over here. But yeah, again, let's once again try to appreciate this Beamos design. Shut it down, baby. <laughs> Joy pendant. What are they doing here? Probably being weird again. I don't know. Oh, interesting. That door is blocked, so. Go ahead and grab this. This will be our boss key. It's nice that they just kind of give it to us along the way. Our big key. Oh, oh no! The Armo statues are awake now. So these guys, they work a little bit different from the uh, other Armos. Pressing B when I get behind them. There we go, oh my god. That should not have taken me as long as it did. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's opening up. That give me health. Perfect. Oh, it looks like we're outside the tower. Now, let me get this back out because there are birds. I kind of want to get those. Oh. oh. Screw you. Guess maybe they intend for us to destroy these. Oh, and of course, that one works the way the, the way they normally do. Feather. Considering all the feathers we got in uh, kind of the Forbidden War Woods area, I feel like we're getting pretty close to the amount we need for that one side quest. So that's kind of cool. And the 
bow just showing how good it is for a lot of the stuff. I thought you could use arrows to hit these guys too, but apparently not. I was misstooping. Okay, well, do I have an empty bottle? No, I don't. Okay, well, whatever. We have Red Potion. Red Potion is pretty much as good as, as a fairy. In fact, I think it actually heals more than what a fairy does anyway. So let's go ahead and fight the boss. And then after that, we'll probably end the video. You have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, Chosen One. Accept this final challenge. Oh, goody. It's Bongo Bongo 2.0. <laughs> That's pretty much what this boss is, honestly. It's Bongo Bongo 2.0. Bongo Bongo never did that, though. <laughs> That's pretty hardcore. Oh. <laughs> so I guess not only is he Bongo Bongo, but he's also a Dodongo. He's... No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> That just sounds immature. Oh shoot, he wasn't done with that hand. That hand took more hits than... That hand took more hits than the other hand. Seemed like it anyway. Also, do not worry if you run out of arrows. As you might expect, there will be a way to get more. That's probably it. Maybe I hit the back of the hand, which obviously wouldn't, uh... The game's always nice about restocking. <laughs> In fact, the boss is nice. He's gonna actually just give us some arrows. <laughs> of course, when he does that, he does bring the hands back, so you have to be careful of that, obviously. And this should be the final hit. Honestly, pretty easy boss fight, but uh, I do kind of like the music that plays during this boss fight. The path can now be opened, O oh, Chosen One. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Go forward with caution. That just looks like electric death. <laughs> so he's actually not like an enemy or anything. He's just... He wanted to test our... Uh, test our metal, I guess you could say. So we'll take that heart container, increase our life. And I guess we'll just go ahead and go in here and see what happens. Nice. It's a bell. 
And what a coincidence, the bell has a grapple point. <laughs> How'd you get down there so fast? <laughs> Maybe Link just jumped. I mean, he does have the Deku leaf, so he could have floated. You have done well, Slim. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light, you will see shimmering into the waves before you. Your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Slim? Well, you could have asked me, like, the player. <laughs> well, we have some big stuff going down, so this will probably be a longer video. But that's fine. I didn't want to just, like, end the dungeon when we were, like, that close to the end. But yeah, Link can breathe under here. Guess we're not really underwater. We're in just a water like dimension. Or some kind of crap like that. probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Next time! <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time when we see what's inside this mysterious place. You could probably figure out what's actually here, but uh, we'll, we'll save it for next time. Later, folks.